Welcome to Tendi Talks. In this video, we are going to look at the terms used in projectile. So our heading here is going to be terms used. We are going to look at the terms that are used in projectiles. Now, uh, let's begin with the term number one and uh, we are going to use the same diagram. We are considering a body that is uh, thrown with an initial velocity u and an angle theta. And then we say it takes in that direction. So let's begin with the very first term. The first term we are going to look at the angle of projection. We are looking at the angle of projection, which we are seeing to be theta. So what is the angle of projection? The angle of projection, this is the angle, this is the angle between, between the direction, the direction of the projectile, between the direction of the projectile and uh, the horizontal and the horizontal ground that is what we call angle of projection now let's also look at uh, another term term number two the term number two we are going to call it a trajectory and uh, if we can put letters, this is point uh, O, and we call this B, A, and this B. Now we are defining A, O, B. We say, what is O, O, B? This is the path taken by a projectile. So a trajectory is the path, is the path taken or described by a projectile. That is what we call uh, a trajectory. Now also on this diagram, we are seeing something called it H or maximum height. We are seeing something called it H or maximum height. So what is maximum height? Maximum height is the highest point from the horizontal ground is the highest point reached by a projectile from the initial point of projection. So let's look at it. term number three. We are calling it maximum height. And on our diagram, it was represented as H max. We are saying that maximum height is uh, the highest point reached by a projectile from uh, the highest vertical distance traveled by a projectile. So let's write and say that this is the highest, this is the highest, this is the highest vertical distance Vertical distance, we use displacement. Vertical displacement covered by a projectile from the horizontal ground. From the horizontal ground through the point of projection that is what we are calling maximum height now uh, let's look at the expression for maximum height straight expression for maximum height which we are calling h max 
Now, what do we know? We know that uh, v squared is equal to u squared plus 2 as. This is when we are looking at uh, the equations of uh, motion. But uh, now, when you throw a particle and it moves in the air, it reaches a point when it begins to come down. At that instant of coming back, the final velocity is always zero. So we are going to say at maximum height, V is zero. And then, if we are considering the vertical component, we say that uh, this expression of ours will therefore be uh, zero is equal to u sine theta squared minus vertical component minus 2g s but the s we are talking of here is uh, the maximum height now if the s is maximum height this tells me that u squared when i open the bracket is equal to uh, sine theta squared minus 2 g h max now but this is equal to what is equal to the whole of this is equal to zero since we have said that uh, at maximum height the velocity becomes what the velocity becomes zero so we make h max the subject of the formula when we make h max the subject of the formula we are going to have a u sine uh, u squared sine theta squared out of 2g so this is the expression for maximum height when you know the angle of projection and the initial velocity g is constant of course then you can always get the maximum height the highest point from the point of projection that is reached by this body that was projected now uh, let's see how do we get time to reach maximum height time to reach to reach maximum height that we call hx now we know that uh, v is equal to u plus 80 okay but uh, here we are in the vertical direction at maximum height this means this is vy is equal to uy plus uh, 80 at maximum height we say that at h max v is zero therefore this is zero is equal to we also say ui is the same as u sine theta is equal to u sine theta our acceleration is equal to negative g minus gt so this one when we collect like terms gt comes this side and is positive therefore this is u uh, gt is equal to u sine theta so now, if g is equal to u sine, thi, uh, sine theta, it means if we make t the subject of the formula, we are going to have u sine theta out of g. And uh, this expression u sine theta out of g is the time taken to reach maximum height. So, please make sure you practice these derivations and uh, we shall meet in the next video for more definition of 